Hey guys, it's Jessie and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really fun video that I like to do. I started doing it last year, so I'll link that below in case you guys want to see that too. But this is the halfway point of the year, a little bit late, but I just like to share all my favorite reads up until this point and then see how it changes at the end of the year. So, so far this year, I have given seven books five star reviews. So these are the seven books and I'm going to kind of briefly go through them. And I do have full reviews for all of these so they will be linked below. Um, possibly I'll pop a couple links in above as well if you guys are interested in getting more info um, or to learn a little bit more about these I should say. Um, all those links will be down below. So let's just go ahead and get started on the first one. Um, also, these are not in any particular order. These are all just books that I've ranked five star. There is one in particular that I am still just raving about constantly, so I will let you guys know about that one. But um, the first one was The Marriage Lie by Kimberly Bell. I had been wanting to read this for a really long time and finally got around to it and loved it. I loved the suspense of it. I love the fact that it's about this um, kind of like unreliable narrators which I've decided I really enjoy books that have those. We follow our main character Iris as she starts to kind of unravel all these secrets of her marriage and about her husband and finds out that he really wasn't who she thought he was and so basically what happens is he's supposed to be going on this business trip um, and ends up going down in a plane and she finds out that he is supposedly dead and so she's trying to piece together all of these pieces and it's a crazy like whirlwind like little adventure and I loved the mystery, I loved the suspense of it all and the ending was the only thing that I didn't absolutely love but I also didn't really hate it. It was exactly like what I expected to happen, it just wasn't what like it just felt like it was so easy and I didn't really want it to be, it just seemed like um, our main character Iris just kind of gave up on a certain point or a level and I don't know. So now on one hand it was exactly what I thought would happen and yet it wasn't really what I wanted. So I was a little bit unhappy at the ending but overall a really great read. The next one is a more recent read. It is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover and this was highly recommended to me for so long. I had it on my shelves for about a year or just over a year before I finally picked it up and I was so glad that I did because I really enjoyed this book. It is about these two characters who have not a whole lot of time for relationships nor are they good at them so they basically decide to have a friends with benefit kind of relationship and there's drama that happens and obviously some romance and whatnot and it was something that I really enjoyed. I liked what I liked most about this is the fact that one of our, our male character, uh, Miles, is we get more of his past and everything through like these letters and stuff that he had written and, um, and these flashbacks from like six years ago. And so you get to piece together more of his story and why he is as cold and kind of like a hard character as he was. And so I really liked that aspect. I felt like Tate was okay, but together I was really rooting for them. Alright, so the next two are like women's fiction, kind of contemporary, and southern. And I absolutely adored both of these next reads and they were debut authors that I have, well I guess one of them is more debut, the other one I have read the first book that she put out and I just, I not only adore these books but I love the authors as well and I've been able to connect and chat a lot with them on Instagram and it's just been an amazing kind of an experience and being able to see everything that they've worked so hard come through and to be able to help support and cheer them on is like one of the coolest things. So the first one is The Hideaway by Lauren K. Denton. Gorgeous cover, beautiful story as well and so basically we follow our main character who finds out that her grandma has passed away. She owned this bed and breakfast and so she goes to kind of take care of everything and kind of wrap things up and she doesn't expect to stay there at this B&B and ends up falling in love with it. I love that she gets to find out more about her grandma through her grandma's friends, through the stuff that she finds in the B&B and just from the community in general and so I really liked that aspect that they introduce this character after she has passed and get to you know just really learn to like love this character and appreciate her in a different way and you get to see her granddaughter kind of fall in love with her and figure out who she was too and it was really cool. Um, and I liked that the B&B also took on like a whole character kind of of its own and I really liked that aspect. I kind of like, I've decided I like when things do that. There was another book called The House of Bradbury that does something similar and I loved it. So definitely recommend this one. The next like Southern read is Southern Most by Sarah Sadler. This is a spin-off to Southern Solstice which is also fantastic. And in this one we follow this girl Kayla who was given an ultimatum to basically move to be closer to Jackson which is the daughter of 
no, the father of her daughter, um, or to basically be cut off, and he is very wealthy, and so he was supporting her, so she basically didn't have any other choice than to move. So she moves down there, and things are still not, you know, going very well for them, and so she's starting to figure things out not only for herself and trying to provide for her daughter and just figure out where she kind of is and where she fits in in this new town. And I like that there is romance, there is drama, there is a little bit of mystery, but the characters are incredible. The descriptions are so well done in this this book and Southern Solstice. You get descriptions of the South and the people, and the people feel so real and amazing. Lil, I loved Lil so much. And then the other thing that was really cool in this one was all like the foodie aspects and stuff, so I really loved that too. So overall, this is an incredible read and I highly recommend it too. All right, so the next one is definitely a little bit heavier than the other ones on this list. It is It Happens All the Time by Amy Hutvani. And like I said, this one is a little bit heavy, so it definitely has some topics of like, depression and anxiety and acquaintance rape and so it starts to raise a lot of questions. I think it sheds a lot of light on acquaintance rape which I don't feel like we talk about enough in society like we all know of rape but that most rapes are by somebody that you actually know so this whole acquaintance rape is definitely raises a lot of awareness and questions and makes you think about a lot of things. So. This one I'm, I might not talk about every day, but I think at some point during at least every week I either find a way to bring this up in conversation or something like that. And so I think this is such an important read and it's probably the first five star read I think I gave this year. I can't remember for sure, but it was definitely one of the first five. And I really enjoyed it. We follow our main characters, um, Amber and Tyler, who have been best friends since like I think she was in middle school and he was in high school and he just moved to town and they became really good friends, basically helped each other through all the ups and downs through like childhood and then she goes off to college. So they were um, definitely separated for a little bit and then as she comes home after her graduation from college, she's staying at her parents' house and she is engaged to this other guy and yet one of the nights, you know, they're kind of having some issues and she ends up going out with Tyler to this 4th of July party. They both drink and things happen and so that's when everything starts to change for them and that's when it starts to really lay into these heavy topics that um, I think we just definitely need to talk about more often and have these conversations. So like I said, this is definitely an important one. Okay, so the next book that I read totally shocked and surprised me. Like. When it was sent to me, I thought, okay, it sounds interesting. Not sure it's going to be one of my favorite reads, but I will hopefully enjoy it and whatnot. As I started reading it, I fell more and more in love with it. And like I said, it just really surprised me by the end. It is called On Serpentine Lane by Eleanor Lippman. This was the first Eleanor Lippman book that I have ever read. And I'm definitely curious to read more of her work now because I really enjoy the writing style. This story was nothing really that profound, like not, I don't feel like anything really even happened. Like yes, certain things in their daily lives kind of happened, but I don't feel any like big drama or anything traumatic or any life changing things happened. But what really sold me was the fact that these characters were all so well rounded, like every character that was introduced, the main character and all the secondary characters like felt real and they had real problems so it was so easy to connect to every single person in here and it was super humorous and really funny there was a small little romance kind of interest thing that happened and then again I have this thing when characters or houses kind of become these characters and there's definitely this weird quirky house and some weird stuff happens that I wasn't totally in love with but I think kind of added to the like the whole like hilarity if that's even a word of like the storyline so I just really enjoyed it it totally was like a kind of lighthearted, easy breezy, kind of like perfect little beach read. And so I would definitely look this up if you guys are looking for something, you know, like I said, great for the beach, really quick and lighthearted and just pretty funny. Okay, so the last one is the one that I still just cannot stop talking about. It is just so adorable, it's so cute, so good, and I love it. And I really want everyone to read it because it is the perfect contemporary like YA like I just, I love it so much. And I got to meet the author at Yale West and she was incredibly sweet and being able to connect with her online as well has been so much fun and getting to know her and I think all that just adds to the overall experience. And anyways, I absolutely love it. It is When Dimple Met Rishi by Sandaya Menon and like I said, 
It is so stinking adorable. It follows our main character, um, Dimple, and she really wants to be like a career-driven, you know, kind of woman to start out with and just to establish something for herself. She really is into like computer coding and whatnot, wants to go to this camp, and her parents are basically refusing telling her that she needs to follow her, their like Indian kind of traditions and whatnot, and she should get married and look for that husband. And she really doesn't want to, so she's fighting them on this. And ends up that they finally letting her go to this camp. Turns out it's only because Rishi is going to be there and their parents have gone ahead behind their backs, well at least behind Dimple's, and done an arranged marriage of the two. So when Rishi first meets Dimple, he makes this joke about them being husband and wife and she's totally freaked, throws her drink on him, and like takes off. And that's kind of where this whole story kind of starts and plays out. And it is so funny, so adorable, so cute. I loved everything about it. It could be a little cheesy at times, but it was like one of those things where it's like so cheesy and so adorable that you don't even care that you're so invested in the characters in the story and you just are having so much fun with it that you just, it just takes you away. And this is definitely one of those. I think this is a perfect like book for summer. I think it's going to be one of the like standout YAs of the summer and possibly the year because I just loved it so much and I cannot wait for more from Sandaya because this is just an amazing writing ability and the way just the way everything came together was just so perfect like seriously five stars total perfection like I can't wait to reread it it is so adorable and cannot recommend this now so if you only get one off this list it should probably be this one if you enjoy YA and contemporaries because it is so so adorable everyone's been raving about it and it totally lives all right, you guys, so those are the seven books that are my five-star reads so far for the year, the ones that I've loved and just really hope you guys will all look into. Like I said, all the reviews are also linked below, so if you guys want more, definitely click that. Um, there's also links to where you can purchase them from Amazon. By doing so, help support this channel, so that would be greatly appreciated. I would also love to know what your favorite book or books have been so far this year, so definitely comment below, share a couple of your favorites, and let's chat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.